morning y'all welcome to the kitchen um it's a beautiful day here in savannah if y'all hear a buzzing now listen it's just may y'all it's still may it is so hot in here i had to bring a little fan in here <laughs> and it's one of those fans that um has no blades so it's safe around all of our grandchildren. And I just, Anthony uh, gave that to his daddy one Father's Day and I, I fell in love with it. And I use it a lot. So that little, that little, mm, that's my, that's my air condition, y'all. <laughs> I can't believe it's May and we got June, July, August, September. And it starts going down a little bit in October, doesn't it? But it's gonna be a long, hot summer here in Savannah, Georgia. And um, hopefully we're all going to be doing, uh, you know, more eating outside. So this is a great um, recipe. And I, I was very surprised I got a request for this recipe. And, you know, I thought everybody had the recipe for artichoke and spinach dip. I really did. And <laughs> come here, Henry. Come here and tell it. One, I've got one grandson here. Come over here, Henry, and tell everybody good morning. Good morning. <laughs> he is so precious to me. <laughs> you think it's go swimming with Papa? Mm -hmm. Okie doke. Well, you're gonna need those glasses. It's so bright. Uh, Michael was fussing a few minutes ago. He said, you know, I just hate that weather man uh, because they had had a fishing trip planned for this morning with a guide and they predicted like 95% rain for today. So they canceled their fishing trip. The only job that I say that you can be consistently wrong, keep your job, and probably still get a race every <laughs> Did y'all hear what Teresa just said? She said it's the only job where you can be consistently wrong and still keep your job and even get raises. Most likely. Probably. Most likely. <laughs> So anyway, this recipe is so easy, y'all. And I'm happy, happy to uh, share this with, do you remember the, the young woman's name that asked for this recipe? I mean, it's so stupid, silly. Do you have who it was, Teresa? Who no, it was several people. Actually, it this, was? This actually came through Courtney Kleiman, who was in our PD. Uh -huh. She does all uh -huh. social media for yeah. our restaurant, yeah. and she asked me to have you do this recipe. Well, wonderful. Well, this this recipe comes straight out of my very first cookbook, y'all. My little self-published cookbook. And uh, it came from Sheila Mims, who is a caterer in Albany, my hometown. And Sheila's just a real sweet girl. And uh, now they're blowing the porch if you hear some more. <laughs> so we just got all kind of noise going on this morning. Um, so anyway, Sheila is a caterer in Albany, Georgia. And uh, she shared her recipe, her version of this recipe. And I'm only going to do one thing different, Sheila. I am breaking up some Ritz crackers and I'm going to put them on the stove and melt a little butter uh, because that's so much easier than melting butter and then pouring it on top of your crackers. You know, you, it's a good chance you won't get butter on all the crackers, but this way, I know that we're getting all the butter. So, I'm gonna let this be melting back there and we're just gonna put all of our ingredients together. And there's probably different versions, y'all, of, of this recipe. And, uh, you know, it's one of those recipes that you can really make it your own. Um, I would probably uh, saute some chopped onion and um, saute that and add to it. But that's just me. But anyway, this recipe is very, very simple. It's two 13 uh, and three quarter ounce of artichokes. 
um, one 10 ounce, I think it's a 10 ounce, yeah, one 10 ounce box of spinach. And this is the only thing that you have to do with this. See all that water in the spinach? You just want to make sure that you squeeze all of that out. It's amazing. I, I had not washed this spinach. That's just the water that uh, is created during the, the process of freezing it. So you'll want to make sure you do that so your casserole won't be um, milk, you know, loose, watery. Alrighty. So I'm just going to break that up where I squeezed it. And I am going to add um, a half a cup, I think it is, of mayonnaise. I, I don't have my glasses. I can't quite see. So a half a cup of mayonnaise. And it looks to be... Thank you, Eddie. <laughs> now I don't have to guess. And um, half a cup of sour cream. And this is one and a half cups, which is exactly what the recipe calls for of uh, shredded Parmesan cheese. And this is so good served with the Ritz crackers. I don't want to check on this. That butter hadn't even started melting. I took it straight out of the refrigerator, so it was like harder than my arteries. Okay, come on, you gotta do better than that stove. Okie dokie. So we are ready. And we're just gonna put this in a in a casserole dish. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray it so it won't stick. And I think I'm gonna change to a regular spoon for that. That spatula's not working all that well for me. All right, now that butter's melting. But this is a great, great way to do when a recipe calls for dot butter on top of your crackers. No, just throw it in the pot. And this way we know every piece of cracker is going to have butter on it. Not just random. Ooh, it's getting hot. I smell the crackers cooking. I mean, that butter was hard, Eddie. <laughs> so that's the only thing I'm doing different, Sheila. And uh, Sheila and I had uh, had a, a, a friend. In fact, that's how I was introduced to Sheila. Uh, our friend was Susan Dupuy. And we were like best friends all through the years and Susan passed away. So I have not seen or talked to Sheila since since Susan passed away, but I think about I think about Susan all the time and all the laughs and heartache that we shared with each other through the years. It's about mixed. I probably could have used a little bit bigger bowl <laughs> so I could really, you know, get in there and get it mixed up without throwing everything on the counter. <laughs> okay. I think we got it, kiddos. Now we're going to put this in an oven at 350 
I think. That's what I would do. Yep, 350. And we're gonna bake it for 30, 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. Okay, now we'll go back to the spatula. Let me get every piece of that cheese out of there. Okie dokie, that is it. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. <laughs> oh, look at those buttery crackers. You know, I just, when I do um, these kind of dips for a party or anything, I just love the crunch, you know, that crackers do to it. It just adds you know, a, a whole different dimension to me. Make sure everybody gets some. Okay, that was one sleeve of Ritz. Ritz crackers that I used. Okay, in the oven that goes 350 for 30 minutes or until it's hot and bubbly and uh, this is really good, uh, a, a good app to put in a round dish and have your little, your little uh, chafing dish, you know, where you light a candle and let it stay warm. That's a great way to serve this dish. But, we're doing that away today. Okay, our artichoke and spinach dip cooked for, I think I cooked it for 25 minutes, but I did put my oven on convection so it got a little bit hotter. And it looks delicious, it was bubbling. And uh, look, that cup and a half of Parmesan cheese, y'all, it's talking to me. <laughs> it's talking to me, it's saying, eat me, eat me. <laughs> mm. When I had my cooking show, Paula's Best Dishes, they tried to teach me how to take princess bites and I never did get it down. <laughs> I take Paula bites. You know, this is this is an oldie but goodie. And those of you that requested it, I hope you try it because it really is very, very good. And I will see y'all on the next recipe.